Dentino, Executive Director with Community Living Hamilton. On behalf of our Board of Directors and the more than 1,400 individuals and family that we support, I thank you for joining us today for this exciting announcement by the Honorable Mary Lee Fullerton, Minister of Children, Community and Social Services. Before we begin, I wish to remind everyone about uh, protocols for wearing face masks and physically distancing. As a developmental services agency providing supports to people with developmental disabilities, we rely heavily on funding through the Ministry of Children, Community and Social Services. For that reason, we are grateful to have been asked by the Minister's office to host today's announcement for the opportunity to bring awareness to our sector and the important work we do. In addition to Minister Fullerton, also sharing remarks today will be Ms. Donna Skelly, MPP for Flamborough Glanbrook. And without further ado, I welcome to the podium Minister Fullerton. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sylvia. Hello, everyone. I'd like to start by thanking Community Living Hamilton for hosting us this afternoon. Your team does incredible and compassionate work to serve our loved ones every day, and I am grateful for your commitment. We recently released Journey to Belonging, our long-term plan for developmental services reform that revolutionizes the way services are delivered to our loved ones with a developmental disability. Part of the plan for developmental services reform includes ensuring that individuals are supported to find suitable housing in their communities. This is especially necessary for those who may be transitioning to the adult system or who are living with aging family members. And that's why I'm happy to share today that we are investing an additional $13 million to help people with developmental disabilities access housing. This investment means more people with a developmental disability can receive the assistance that they need to find an accessible and affordable home, be part of their community, and live the lives they choose. By increasing funding for housing coordinators, the people who help individuals and access housing options in their community, more people will be able to find suitable homes. And we are also further supporting adult protective service workers who help people live more independently in the community. And that's just such a key word, in the community. Uh, the journey to belonging has really been about an inclusive approach so people are integrated in the community and have a sense of belonging. These supports strengthen our capacity to proactively address people's needs, which will help reduce stress for families and decrease the risk of people falling into crises. The work to truly change developmental services is underway, and today marks another step towards achieving our vision of offering our loved ones choice and the opportunity for inclusion. So I would now like to invite my friend and colleague, uh, your amazing MPP, Donna Skelly, to share a few words. Donna. Thank you, Minister, and it's always such a pleasure to have the Minister in my hometown of Hamilton, especially when she's making such an incredible announcement that will affect so many lives, people who really need our help and who really need this additional funding to, to help them, uh, not just as we move through the pandemic, but as we move all move forward, getting out of the pandemic and, and moving on with life. Good afternoon, and thank you again. Uh, for hosting us here at the Community Living Hamilton. I want to take a moment to acknowledge and thank you for the work that you do day in and day out to serve individuals with varying levels of ability right across Hamilton. Today's investment is critical to Hamilton because we must make sure that individuals with a developmental disability are able to more easily access suitable housing. This funding largely targets young adults turning 18 who are transitioning out of childhood support, people who live with aging parents, 
and those who live in a congregate setting and want to have the opportunity for more independence. We will continue to support individuals with developmental disabilities and ensure that we are expanding the ways in which individuals can fully participate in their communities. That makes all of our communities and all of us stronger. So thank you all, and again, I'd like to invite the minister back to the podium to answer questions. Thank you, Minister. Uh, we'll now go to questions. Just a reminder, it's one question, one follow-up. Yeah, thanks. Um, I was just wondering how specifically how much is Hamilton? Yes, this is an additional 13 million over three years. And uh, you know, this is on top of the other funding that is provided. So an additional 13 million. Okay, that is specifically for Hamilton? Oh, oh not for Hamilton. Oh. This is overall. This is overall. And this will be uh, based on um, you know, the level of, uh, of need. This is uh, to be done across nine um, uh, developmental services uh, organizations or offices. Uh, and that's how it will be distributed. And it's for housing coordinators, so is that going to be hiring additional housing coordinators, or are you going to give more resources to them? It's to expand access so that, and we recognize the importance that uh, every individual with a developmental disability is unique in their needs, and it's very much to put the, the person at the center uh, and to allow them to develop an affordable housing plan uh, with the, uh, the housing coordinator. Uh, and so this is, uh, but the funding will be distributed through the uh, Devel Developmental Services offices. Next question. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks Thank for your you question. All. Thank you, Minister. Thank you, MPP. <laughs>